So first of all, I want to ask you, when you first, you know, learned, heard about this project and where they asked you, you know, to join them to tell your story, uh, what's your reaction? Were you just a little bit doubtful or were you, you know, willing to share your story well, and your truth? The thing I've been doubtful, doubtful for years because most of the people that came to me at first, it was always the approach was wrong. You know, mm -hmm. it was never like I wanted to tell my story. The way I wanted to tell my story was to have people really walk in my shoes and feel the human aspect. And then I wanted people to know what really truly happened behind the scene, you know, the, the, the inner working of the music industry. Yeah. That was very important. And then show what, what truly happened to Rob and what happened to Rob. You know, so the, the, the genuine journey that we took and I wanted people to see exactly like it was not premeditated, premeditated on our, on our end, which was always publicized as if we planned everything. So yeah. all those elements were so when people thought this, they, they knew the headlines, but they didn't know the story. And for years I scratched the surface. You know, because I knew that at some point someone of quality would, would join me and together we could tell our story. But what they did really well was to let everybody talk. Uh, there was no editing, like everybody told yeah. their story. And when you look at the story, one plus one equal two, not three. So in the end, you realize, oh, so there was a record company. Oh, there was a producer. They organized everything properly. And in the end... Those two young guys who had no idea about the music industry fell into the trap. But that was not the goal to begin with. That was Yeah, 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 yeah. it was clear. And I guess uh, this documentary kind of has an, a really powerful, you know, message because it shows, you know, the life after you say something really powerful that uh, even if something really bad happens to you, you can reinvent yourself. It's, it's something that, you know, media doesn't tell, don't, don't tell us, but it's important to say that it there is can it is, be yeah. you know a light yeah. after the tunnel as you say so well, how much was important I, for you just yeah, yeah. And, as a matter of fact you know I, i believe that stories are there to inspire i've learned that i'm old enough to understand so if i can be attached to a story like this one and to have the story being which was at some point a negative now it's a positive and, and that people can learn that you can fall you can stand back up you can reinvent yourself there is life after 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 trauma and it's all about how much of a sacrifice you're willing to make but also it's a story about telling people that if you love you have to you have to find what you love and then waking up happy to work on what you love so it can, if you can find something that you 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 go to sleep and you say i can't wait to wake up and work on that when i wake up in the morning that's what you have to find so that's my message to everybody Find what you love so you can have a happy life. Because if you don't like what you do in life, you'll never be happy. Life is way too short. I always say okay. I live one life at a time, but happiness is most important. So if you can be healthy, because that's also my message, without your health, because the mental and the physical are connected. So if you can work on your health, then your happiness is going to come. Then after happiness, there is clarity. Then because you become stronger, then you become resilient. Then if you're curious about life and about what you love, then you're going to get better. And when you get better and you're happier, people are going to see because you're making steps forward. Then people okay. say, oh, I want to work with this person. So yeah, that's yeah. what I've been doing for years. Reinvent, push myself to do what I, what I want to do. And uh, I think that it shows in the documentary that I'm not bitter. I forgive the people who did what they did to me, but I had to forgive myself because I let myself go into it. I embraced the lie. And, you know, I was young. People make mistakes and you don't know about consequences. And okay. then when you make decisions, you don't know that there are consequences to every decision you make. We just didn't know that this song would become number one in the world. Okay. No one knew, you know, so, you know, we went and and we we didn't know much about life, about the industry. We signed a recording contract without an attorney, without management. And they never told us, hey, get your attorney or get a manager. They were like, no, no, no. Here's your money. Sign here. Oh, okay. Of course. 
and and I guess it this documentary kind of gives us um, seeing now today a perspective about society because at the end of the um, you know project, uh, someone other people say you know uh, they were not killers, you know they were not criminal, but the hate of the society was so brutal. So I guess we can learn something from it because nobody blames the system at the time. No, but it was the real, you know. But it yeah. was there, I guess. The system was was in, the, this, and the system was in place. Will always be in place. And yes. those artists, they fall in the system. They get used, and then they get spit it out. So if there is okay. no support, the majority of artists you see it in sport as well. You know the, yeah. the sport. They have sport agents, but if the agent is not supported and the foundation on which the relationship is based on is not good to protect the artist, well, the artist in the end is not going to end up well. And there was no protection for us. It just through us, they took the record off the wall. They made the money. They reinvested the money that they made with Robin Fab into other record companies. So yeah, the system will keep on going. The humans will be thrown. They'll be used yeah. when if if you don't serve your purpose, they say, hey, "Ciao, ci vediamo." That's it. <laughs> Next, yeah, yeah. in crazy, which all yeah. you have to offer is your youth. So Frank Farian had a plan, and we fell into the plan. He did it with Bernie M. He he was singing the voice of Bobby Farrell, and when he found when they were working on music already, and when they found us, they only wanted to use. Like an accessory, we were just accessories to his. He was a designer, and I said, "Well, they're going to be in the front. I got the voice, but think about how the people that were recording at first they thought they were going to be singing and be part of the project. So he <laughs> lied to everybody, not just to Robin Fab. Everybody was used, and that's where when you watch the documentary, you see everybody tells the story, and you see that the producer." Lied to everyone and orchestrated everything. And in the end, right. he went to New York and said they didn't sing. He made it all happen. It's because you did that because we didn't want to go with a charade anymore. Okay. The system. Yeah, yeah, it's the system. So I want to ask you one final last question. How is today, you know, your relationship with music? Because I guess that's something you know personal for you, and maybe yeah. sometimes during the journey you. I don't know if you lost it, so I want to ask you today. Listen, was your... la musica is my mother, my father, my friend, my confidant. That's the only reason. It's one of the main reasons why I'm still here. Is because of the music. And when I decide, when I said, hey, I looked around, I said, well, music is the one that I can count on. I'm going to keep you in my life, and we've had this relationship. That's why the Millionaire documentary is about. It's a love story with music. It's a friendship story. Mm -hmm. With Robin Fab, it's a, it's it's a, a story of reinvention, and in the end, there is a light at the at the tunnel. And now, I got me familia, I got four kids, and I'm I'm excited about life. And you can you can survive. It's up to you. That's it. It's up to you, yeah. and nobody else. You have to do it. Rob couldn't do it. I did everything I could to to save him, but in the end, you have to do it for yourself. Really